Do you want to drop an antique light bulb, like a, like a low value one, and, and see how they fare? <laughs> This is a brand new smart bulb. And this is your standard everyday light socket. It hasn't changed much in over 140 years. You probably have a few of these light sockets in your own home. But think about how much powering other devices has changed in just the past 10 years. We went from classic wall chargers to USBs and now USB-Cs. But the light socket has stayed the same. We're gonna explore what makes this century old tech such a great base for innovation today. Find out why the Edison screw socket is such a lasting design. And finally, we'll test out some of the latest innovations the light bulb industry has to offer. Let's get started. First things first, we need to learn a little bit of history about this Edison invention. And that's why I'm here at Sterling Sound and Vision in Maryland to meet Chad Shapiro. He's been collecting antique light bulbs for over 20 years and happens to run a business selling modern ones. So tell me why the Edison socket specifically sort of remains the same today. Well, the Edison socket as we know it was developed about late 1881. And you can screw in a light bulb made today into that socket. Other socket designs were much more complicated to insert or remove the light bulb. The Edison socket was very simple to simply just screw it in and anybody could do it. Once Edison was removed from the electric lighting industry, his company was essentially transformed into General Electric. General Electric adopted the AC system of distribution, which would bring electricity to many more than masses, but they maintained the Edison design of the light bulb. We all know the gist of how this combo works. When you screw a light bulb into its base, an electrical current passes through a wire filament inside the bulb. And the filament heats up so much that it produces light. Edison's socket delivers power so conveniently that it's still in use in many homes and lamps today. It's even widely accepted from country to country when wall plugs aren't. But the light bulbs themselves, those have gone high tech. That's mostly because of something that you've probably heard of, light emitting diodes or LEDs. Basically, they are tiny electric nodes that glow using a lot less power. And instead of relying on filaments, which eventually burn out, LEDs are illuminated solely by the movement of electrons. They're about as energy efficient as you can get in lighting, at least so far. And they have a much longer lifespan than incandescent bulbs. The reason they often look like this is Edison's light bulb shape is really effective at sending light in all directions. That's what George Yanni told me. He's the chief technology officer at Signify's Philips Hue. LEDs are also the reason all these dreamy, color-changing lights exist. You might have seen smart TVs like this one, with mood-setting LEDs behind the panel that match the image on the screen. It basically creates a more immersive viewing experience. However, LEDs can take on virtually any shape. A lot of the innovations go beyond just LEDs, so I brought a few products to kind of get your thoughts on them. I pick stuff that's innovative um, and that screws into a regular light socket, so. All right. Yeah, I think. Let's see them. This might be a good place to start. This shatterproof light bulb. I have never seen anything like this. Very interesting. It's made out of silicone. It's LED, so it's energy efficient. This is definitely an innovation. So let's do a drop test. Let's do it. Three, two, one, drop. Seems pretty shatterproof to me. Uh, I like it. So we'll check out another one. Uh, so these are germ fighting LED light bulbs. Well, they are saying the more that you put in your house, the more cleaning that gets done, which makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so maybe if I put four of them, then maybe I don't have to shower. I don't, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> they made it pretty clear here. Yeah. They're claiming that this is killing germs and bacteria and things like that without using ultraviolet because removing ultraviolet helped better light art museum objects. So the fact that they're doing this without UV is actually pretty important in maintaining uh, one of the benefits of LED lighting. Cool, we're, yeah. I already feel cleaner. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're, yeah, yeah. same here. So the last light source we're looking at is Samsung's Freestyle Projector. It's a new projector that will include, or the company will sell, an adapter. Imagine this is your kitchen table, right? And you, this is your light source, this is your lamp, this is your ceiling light, and it is projecting this down on the table. Yeah, what do you think about a, a light bulb projector? 
I think it does better as a projector than a light bulb. I think this is a fun thing. I think of all the things we've looked at though, this is the least useful as an actual light bulb. Here's the thing, all of these new lights should work in Edison's 100 year old socket. And that's really incredible. I actually spoke to all these companies to find out why this old socket is still good enough decades later. And it basically boiled down to three things. It's cheap to reproduce, relatively universal, and works well enough to power a whole host of light bulbs. When you move into a new place, there is usually sockets in every room. Giorgiani told me they can leverage the infrastructure that's already there. So there's not a fundamental reason to innovate on the socket. So that's why the socket's still around, but will it last forever? So we're already seeing products that have a dedicated light source built into a recess fixture or a table lamp, et cetera. And you're gonna see more and more of that. You can already buy LED lamps with built-in LED bulbs that you can't unscrew and replace. There are also all these mood enhancing lights like these from Twinkly and these from Govi, which can really enhance the ambiance of your space. And consumers really like that stuff. At least that's what companies told me. So don't be surprised if you see more of that. I would expect though that the Edison base does still stick around for another 15, 20 years. Personally, I'm all for companies trying to reinvent the light bulb. But if you go and reinvent the socket, good luck selling that.